Hello everyone, in this video we will talk about that how a wireless access point and a wireless client communication take place. So, a communication process between an access point and a client is divided into 6 steps. So, by looking at this image you can see here that here is our client and here is our access point. So, the first thing is whenever our client turn on his Wi-Fi then the, our client starts sending a probe request into the air. So, you can see here that first of all our client will send a probe request into the air. So, probe request means that hey I am new here is there any access point who wants to connect with me. So, if there is any access point who wants to connect with that client. So, that access point will send a probe response to that client and in that probe response the access point will send a particular requirement which is needed in order to connect with that access point. So, once the probe response is received by our client then our client or our mobile phone will send the authentication request to that access point. So, in that authentication request our client will send a passphrase to that access point and once the passphrase and the authentication request is accepted by that access point then that access point will send authentication response and once our client receives the authentication response so till here our access point communication take place. So, once authentication response is received by our client then our client will send association request. So, in association request means ok we are connected now let us start transferring some data. So, in order to transfer some data the first of all our client will send association request and the client will wait for association response from access point. So, these are the 6 steps which are needed in order to communication take place between our client and a wireless. Now, let us try to sniff wireless packets and analyze that how a communication between access point and a client take place with the help of Wireshark. Now, let us analyze a communication between an access point and a client with the help of Wireshark. So, here you can see that my Kali Linux is up and running and I already have captured some packets with the help of Aerodump utility and here you can see one pcap file called as client.cap. So, let us analyze this file in Wireshark. So, first of all I will show you that how we can add filters in Wireshark in order to get a clean neat output. So, here you can see that right now there are so many packets and all these packets are of different clients, but I know that my access point name is this one. So, what I am going to do here is first of all in order to apply filter in Wireshark there are two ways. So, the first way is that you can write down a filter here a filter string here in this bar. Then other way is you can select a particular packet and then you can go to its header and then you can add a filter. So, what I am going to do here is so uh, first of all I will apply a filter of a BSS ID of my access point then we will get all the packets of that access point. So, my access point name is Hawaii and here you can see that the BSS ID of my access point is this. So, in order to add a filter just right click over here click on apply as filter and click on selected and here you can see that a string is automatically written here in this bar and here you can see the filter. Now, the thing to be noticed is that in the source column all the packets are of this BSS ID or our address. So, the next thing we have to do is we can just write here instead of BSS ID ADDR which means address. Now, what I have to do is uh, we will apply the next filter of our client so that we can analyze the communication which is happening between our access point and a client. So, my client name is Samsung and you will found one packet of that here and here is that packet. So, here is my client. So, what I am going to do here is I am adding one more filter of my client BSS ID and my client BSS ID is this. So, let me add one more filter and now this time I will do and selected and I will change the same and make it as ADDR hit enter and here you will see a communication happening between our access point and our client. So, while I told you earlier that the first of all the client will send a probe request then 
the access point will send a probe response. So in this Wireshark packet dump, I don't have any probe request packet, but you can see here a probe response, which is being sent by our access point to our client. So once the client got a probe response, then the client will send an authentication request, including passphrase to that access point. And here you will see authentication request, which is being sent by our client. So you can see here our client is sending an authentication request to our access point and then we'll got the authentication response. And here you can see the authentication response is being sent by our access point to our client. And once our client got an authentication response packet, then our client will send an association request to that access point. And right after this packet, you can see here that our client has sent an association request to this destination. So this destination is our access point. So right after the authentication response packet, here you can see that our client has sent an association request to our access point. And once our access point receives association request, then the access point will send an association response to our client. And here you can see that an association response is being sent by our access point to our client. So this is how and communication so this is how a communication between an access point and a client occurs in order to transfer data. So in this video we have discussed that how a client and an access point communicate communicate in order to transfer data. So thanks for watching this video.